medical officials are warning parents about the dangers of sleeping with their infant children. This after five babies have died in just the past month and a half while sleeping with a parent. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon joins us now live in the studio to explain the difference between co sleeping and bed sharing. Courtney. Steve, this is a very controversial topic, and we've seen that controversy play out on our Facebook page all day. State officials say parents should not share a bed with their infants, but there is another, another method, rather, called co sleeping. So we decided to go to the experts to find out more about co sleeping and bed sharing and how either could be done safely. You know, parenting is really difficult, and when you've been awake for 27 hours because your child just isn't sleeping, and the only place they will sleep is in bed with you, you're going to take that out. Mary Latendris, mother of two and owner of Portland Doula Collaborative, has been assisting mothers before, during, and after labor for nearly a decade. One of the most frequently asked questions she gets from new parents is about bedtime. Bed sharing, they're in the bed with you, co sleeping. They're in the same room, they're attached to your bed, but not in the bed. The American Academy of Pediatrics says the safest place for a child to sleep is in a parent's room in their own crib or bassinet. Maine's chief medical examiner is backing that claim following the deaths of five infants in the state since January. In all of those cases, the infants were in the same bed as their parents. The state's CDC director says these kinds of tragedies can be prevented. Make sure that you don't have snugly um, pads or extra clothing or material in their bed, um, that they pretty much just sleep in a sack that does not have any strings attached to it, and that they don't have any bumper pads and no pillows. So just lay flat on their back, a firm, tight sheet, and uh, make sure they're in warm clothing. Mary Latendris says co sleeping is the safer method, and while bed sharing carries more risks, she says it can be done properly by creating a barrier in the bed between parent and child. Still, she says it's a choice she sees many of her clients struggle with. The decision to co sleep or bed share is very individualized, and as long as we have community people out there who can educate families on the safety concerns regarding both of these issues, then we should see a decrease in the number of infant deaths. Now we've gotten mixed responses from parents tonight on social media. Some saying they've had positive experiences sharing a bed with their children, and others say it's ended in tragedy for them. If you'd like to weigh in on the topic, we'd like to hear from you on our Facebook page. Just search WMTW-TV. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.